Okay guys, what's up? I wanna pop in really quick to give you the details on my hair. So I actually filmed this video yesterday, but it didn't come out right due to, I was having issues with my camera. It was like blurry, but it was just because like the body lens, like the, the back lens on the, 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 the lens, I'm talking about, was, was like, dusty so i have to clean it off so i have some clips of me doing some things with this hair but i don't know if it's good enough quality but i will insert it anyway so yes this is uni's 4x4 lace closure wig so i installed this wig i've been wearing it for about two weeks now so i can kind of give you guys a brief moment on this wig okay first and foremost 4x4 16 inch wig from Unis from, off Amazon. The shipping took about a week. Came inside of, basically, it came inside of this box right here, which is the Unis box. Came in this, this box right here. And it came with two nude standard wig caps, a pair of um, eyelashes, which is really nice, just really dramatic for me. And then a headband that I have been wearing on and off to push my wig back. Okay, so that's what it came with and it came with the wig. Now this wig is not an HD lace or transparent lace and those laces are different. They're much more thinner. They're much more scalp like. They're much more easy to work with, especially if you don't know how to do wigs. Those laces are, you know, different and better. But this wig, the lace wasn't bad. The brown lace on this wig, I would say it's not like really thick it isn't the thickest lace but also the knots can be smaller also I bleached the knots I bleached them to the T I also did a watercolor dye on his hair it comes like a 1b off brown type of color situation so I did do the water dye with like the, with the kiss black blue I think I did that and then I also had to pluck so with the HD lace you will get more of a um a lace we won't have to do so much plucking but this is like a barbie doll hair line okay Lynette barbie dolls that was like five dollars this was that type of hair that hair line okay so i did have to pluck it over plucking y'all hair is not my strong suit but i do what i i do what i can do what i do so i did pluck it um some Ooh. so i did pluck it um, a lot and I end up over plucking it but I finessed it with a black hairspray um so what I did was I kind of just black hairspray a little bit over what I over plucked and whatever black hairspray you get on the lace make sure you don't get it on the open parting area you will have to wash it out it will not come out now let's get into the details about this hair so I did cut I did cut and layer in this hair with a razor tooth comb and get the beauty supply store because I'm not a professional you know the hair styles be having like thousand dollar shears you know I'm not that good to be spending that much money on those shears and I got that money anyway so mm, yes so this hair is really really soft it's extremely soft and it's full and I feel like when you end up giving it that cut it kind of creates that layer so I was able to create these layers with just razoring off some um some of the hair and I have clips of all of that it's just blurry I'm so sorry I had like no clue my camera was like jacking up like that so I just did a razor tooth comb and I curled it with my babyless nano curling arm that I will link down below now with this hair it's really 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 soft and it's really full the ends are also really great but I also recommending to curl your if you get this hair to curl it with a curling arm because it will hold these curls are from yesterday and you see like how tight they are like how like how still good they are like it's so good and I will say my 16 inch before I chopped it chopped into it it came right about here from shoulder length I'm like almost 5'8 so I'm pretty tall so yeah so this hair is very 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 soft very fluffy it holds a curl these curls are from yesterday can't either from yesterday so I really love this hair I really love um, the way that it took the color I will give this hair about a 9 out of 10 8 out of 10 just because I wish that the lace was a little bit better um other than that the hair is absolutely great it's beautiful it holds a curl it has body it has luster I absolutely love this hair I don't know if you guys can see but it's so pretty I'm 
so much body to it and I think it was pretty easy to style. I would say the only difficult part is having to pluck it if you don't know how to pluck hair. Um, that would be the only difficult part and you only get a four by four parting space. So I just exaggerated as much as I could by putting makeup on the parting area and then just not even being really strategic with it and then spraying black hairspray like covering up this part and then spraying black hairspray over it so I can really try to get as much parting space because four by four is like literally like right here like right to here and I got a big head so it was free. Okay guys so I'm just gonna pop in really quick so I bleached the knots I also put um, makeup on the parting area and under the lace. I'm taking my wax stick and I'm just going to slick that down. It's going to give it more shine. It's going to make it more flat. It's going to make it more sleek. And I also put a lot of makeup on the parting area, which is why it looks like that. You'll see. And also the lace. I'm taking my Babyliss Nano Curling Iron and my Mazzani heat protector which is also a serum so it also protects your hair from heat but it also gives you a really nice sleek um finish and then this is the makeup that i had used on my party and also on the lace i will link everything down below and i'm just redoing what i've already done just kind of show you guys i'm going to take a razor tooth comb and i'm going to just cut in that hair i'm just cutting little layers i think a razor tooth comb is much easier to use than a pair of shears I am not a professional, so I'm just kind of just cutting and going and praying to God I don't mess it up because I was sent this way. So, <laughs> yes. So that's what I'm doing because I kind of want like a short look and I did do a side part. I feel like it looks better. And yeah, I'm just going to just cut in the hair. So now I'm sectioning off the hair. Um, I find it easier this way and to really get in there, especially if you want a full look, make sure that you are sectioning off the hair. Just makes it really, really easier. In my opinion, I'm just using some clips that I have and I'm gonna be using my Babyliss Nano Curling Iron. It also has a turbo button and I'm gonna be using just a little bit of that Mazzani on each section, about one pump to be exact. And it's gonna just give it a really nice slip also more protectant you know this hair is dyed make sure that you do protect you know your wigs put heat protectant on it and all that good stuff and this um babyless nano curling iron does have a turbo button the only con i would say is that it scratches off so you can't really see the degree at what it's at so i can use the turbo button and it makes it hotter and the curl gets a little bit tighter and i'm just curling anyway but how i want <laughs> <laughs> but as I'm looking at the video, when I went towards the back in the middle area, I was twirling, I was curling, not twirling, child, curling inward. And then when I got up to the top, I curled away from my face. And that's turbo button. You can see the curls, and I'm also I'm going to spray it with some Sebastian hairspray, which is this little mini size here, because the hair is really soft and sleek because it is the straight hair, so that's just going to hold it more. And this is how the whole head looks, 
and the curls are very beautiful they're tight and there's a lot of makeup on that part in y'all <laughs> so i'm just taking some black spray from the beauty supply i will link it down below and what i'm about to do just define the part i'm taking a hair tie as you would call it and some um t-pins and just pinning it down the part i saw this on instagram i did not come up with this because i would just use a rat tail comb like jordan does but this one is much more easier for me and this is a four by four closure, so it's not that much space. And then I'm gonna take that black spray and spray it over. And the hair tie is like protecting the parting space that I don't want any black spray on. So it just makes it really, really easier in my opinion. And I wanna show you guys how it looks. Boom, that's how it looks. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Unis four by four straight closure wig. And let's you know that this hair is straight and look how it curls, beautiful. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. All links will be listed down below and also all the products that I used on the hair. See you guys in the next one and bye.